hello friends hope you are doing well so today's video topic is if you are facing this blue screen error startup repair startup repair could not repair your pc in this video i will show you some method to fix this issue completely so without wasting your time let's start with our first method so first click on this advanced option now click on troubleshoot click on advanced option now the first method you can try is click on this option system restore so this option will help you to restore your system to the back date to fix this issue so click on system restore then select your login username now enter your login username password if you are using any password otherwise leave it blank and click on continue so in my system i don't have any restore point that's the reason i'm getting this error but if you have any restore point then you have a chance to restore your system to the back date to fix this issue so now move on to our next method click on cancel click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option now the next method you can try is click on this command prompt and you will see this black screen now we will type few commands to repair our windows corrupted files so start with our first command bootrec space slash fix mbr press enter now type the next command bootsec space slash nt60 space sys press enter now type the next command bootrec space slash fix boot press enter now type the next command bootrec space slash rebuild bcd press enter now type the next command sfc space slash scan now press enter and this command will take a few minutes to complete so the verification process completed now type the final command chk dsk space slash f space c colon press enter process completed now type exit press enter now click on continue and that's it this will fix your issue and if you are still getting the same issue open this screen again then click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option then click on this startup settings then click on restart now you will see these nine options so you have to press f5 key to open your system in safe mode so press f5 function key now my pc is in safe mode you can see the black wallpaper and the safe mode in all four corners so what we are going to do is if you recently install any a game or any software or any windows update manually and after that you are getting this uh, blue screen error we are going to uninstall that uh, software or that windows update i will show you how to do it so click on your windows icon now type control panel click on this control panel app now in the view by section change it to small icons now click on this option program and features so in my system i don't have much softwares but if you recently install any software or any game and after that you are getting this blue screen error uninstall that application so you can arrange all the application by date wise as well to identify which one is the latest one so right click on the application then simply click on uninstall to uninstall that software on the left side click on view install updates so these are the updates i have you can also arrange these update by date wise as well click on this option installed on to arrange all the all the windows update date wise after that right click on the windows update and uninstall it so this is how you can uninstall any recently installed software game or windows update after uninstalling the application 
simply restart your system and it will fix your issue but if you are still getting the same issue the last and the final method you can try is reset your pc this is the only method which can help you to fix your issue completely i will show you how to do it open this screen again then click on troubleshoot then click on this option reset this pc and there are two options keep my files if you select the first option all your data in your desktop or in your other partitions all the files all the image files all the pdf files will remain safe there will be no data loss if you select the first option keep my files and if you select the second option remove everything in that case everything will be removed so go for the first one then select your login username enter your password now you will see these two options go for the second one local reinstall now you will see the information all the settings will go back to the default mode keep personal files so all the data will remain safe so there will be no data loss at all the only drawback is all the software you installed will remove so only your software will remove but your data your personal files will remain safe in this process and this process will take around half an hour so simply click on reset and that's it so these are the few methods you can apply to fix this issue this is all for the video thank you